What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Ziggy Doom, man. Uh, another road trip. I'm gonna surprise my daughter and uh, show up to her house. She didn't know I was gonna go on a little trip to New York, so instead of me going to Japan, I decided to go there. But first, I had to take a stop in Chicago and make some music, but I'll be hitting New York in about two, three days. As you can see, Mr. Doom is in there eating and should be getting out the car right now. I don't know why he's still in there, though. The window won't roll out because of the dog, shawty. And I went in my jacket. Beat, beats, beats by Marissa. Hola, it's beats by Stas. Hola. Hola. Y'all hear not talking, so we'll try Hola. again later. Now we in the booth, the studio, making some music. That's what I come to Chicago to do. So let's do it. Chicago life, man. Nighttime. Getting me a Garo. Chilling. Finished up the songs. Five of them. Well, six. I did six songs. Six songs in, in less than five hours, so did pretty good. Garo time. So after getting the flat tire and losing $1,300 in Oklahoma, going to Chicago, making six songs, getting hit by a truck in Indiana, <laughs> I finally made it to VA to my daughter. <laughs> I was going to surprise her and uh, show up unannounced at the last minute, but, you know, I was... I've just been, this road trip has been like so crazy and I was so tired. I just, you know what, I just showed up like, <laughs> hey, Tiash, I'm here, you know, I'm taking you to New York. So uh, that's what it is, man. I'm in my room, my uh, minus three star room, <laughs> but, you know, they got a bed and a hot shower, so that's all I need. See, this is what happens when you don't pay attention. Y'all, what y'all notice? Look like my car, right? Nope, that is not my car. <laughs> that is my car. Ain't that crazy? I'm pulling on the handle like, why can't I get in my car? <laughs> Gotta pay attention out here in these streets. These is my old stomping grounds, man. That's why I used to play ball at. Used to be the cage right there. Look at it now. Some kind of construction place. Ain't no more cage now. Wow. Morning, everybody. Today is the day we get on the road. Oh, I just checked out my room. Now I'm about to go and wake up my daughter. She should be ready to go, or at least close to getting ready to go. So, fun, fun, fun. <laughs> Looking like a mama. They go to the bus, they go to the crowd. We kind of waiting though, to the last minute. Cause we ain't gonna be rushing. You ready? New York, New York, big city of dreams. I don't know how they gonna do the bus thing. They should let all the teachers sit in the back. That way, everybody wanna sit in the front. Nah, don't bust up, what's wrong with you? That's what I heard from the dog. Mr. Doom. <laughs> First stop of the trip. Of course, Tiasha wanted to sit next to the most talkingest children on the bus. Oh my God. I don't remember being that. 
talkative when I was in eighth grade. I'm pretty sure I wasn't, but God, man, some of the things these uh, young kids talk about is just incredible. Uh, back on the bus. Now we hit the food court to eat. I hope they got more than McDonald's and Burger King, because they get so tired of McDonald's and Burger King. Yeah. They have McDonald's and Burger King like everywhere. Burger King. We need to have it. We need to have like Red Lobster or something. What you doing for Red Lobster? <laughs> That's the spirit. Remember, we are poor. We don't have money. We are poor. We don't have money. You, you, you can't go to any food court on the planet without them having a the McDonald's. Golly. Huh? Thai Kitchen. Or Master Ruban. Thai Kitchen. We can go see. Right now, my daughter is having a wardrobe malfunction. Quiet. Stop. Let me tie my pants in peace. Why, why do they got to be tied? Otherwise, they'll hit my feet. I mean, oh. still hitting my feet, like, you know, but... Might be a little longer than, than normal. <laughs> one day, one shrimp! Golly, she know what she doing. Did you say your grace first? No. <laughs> don't let mom know. <laughs> yeah, she not, because she don't watch my videos anyway. Y'all know that? <gasps> you don't remember He's that? on the top. No. That's straight. Oh, wow. Wait, how are you going to get her back? I don't know, but I was gonna, I was gonna do this recreation. Now you and Doom Doom sit on my lap. Y'all look good. I know. <laughs> now Zion and Junior on the side. I know, but twelve years ago, I was like three. Yeah, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. We'll see what happens. It would have been like. Um, you don't remember that? No, I was three. <laughs> yeah. Stop American Museum of Natural History. New York, New York, New York. <laughs> Are you learning anything yet, Tiasha? I saw a video on this. Apparently, when uh, something, when huh. iron, when iron reacts with a star, that's what causes it to blow up. Oh, interesting. And they be making these things look a little bit too real. <laughs> Mountain goat. Ain't even no goat's head horns. Wow. Like, what are you looking at, dude? <laughs> Apollo Theater. Now we're across the street from the Apollo Theater. One of the famous places in uh, Harlem. Harlem is a predominantly black community. Wasn't always predominantly black. Oh, we gotta go this way, come on. Apollo Theater, famous. A lot of people started there. Lauren Hill, Machine Gun Kelly, the Jackson Five, uh, Gladys Knight and the Pips, Diana Ross. A lot of people. Oh look, there's GameStop. And here is that tree they used to rub before they went on stage. So I'm about to touch something that a famous person touched. And now I'm famous. Anybody touch it after me? They got my mojo. Getting our tour on. 
What? Actually, no, 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 no. buy that mirror so you can look, use this whole trip to look at yourself? No, <laughs> And of course, there's a fight. What would New York be without a fight, right? He was gonna open an office down on 57th Street, right in the middle of everything, but it was very expensive, and we as taxpayers pay for the, the rent. And um, a lot of people were upset about it, so he decided to open an office up in that building there. And that's that really began. Avengers Endgame. Mean Girls. Or the Disney yeah. show. Girls and Movies. See it tonight. Yeah, because you can see it shows on like the show. Yeah, like the midnight the of the day before the screen. If you pay like two. Dude, I want to watch this. But I'll point it out to you. I'll show it to you as we as we make the turn. So, and then, then we're gonna walk. As you can see, this traffic in New York is brutal. <laughs> we got a whole hand. So we won't get lost. Oh, there she is. I can see the hair. So many people, man. The city is always moving, always busy. Always. It's too crowded. Yeah. That's why I ain't like it when I came to eat. What's the most underpopulated city? So while I was filming and walking down the busy streets to New York, we ended up getting lost. <laughs> we got lost from the group. We ended up going a block ahead further than we were supposed to. And I mean, it's just so much traffic. So see, I kind of got a little worried. So she started holding my hand. She ain't never done that before. She was holding my hand so tight because she was worried we would get separated. But uh, we doubled back around and thanks to Google Maps, <laughs> We was able to find a group, so now we in Planet Hollywood. We got back with the group, so I guess we gonna eat and chill. <laughs> Dinner. Or walking. <laughs> NBC Studios. That's where they make 30 Rocket. One of my favorite shows. Starring Tina Fey. Around. At some point, you're supposed to smile, Tiaja. She don't smile. She, I saw her almost smile once. She's like, smiling at one you. Gotta, you gotta catch it every now and then. Like one corner went up a little bit. Yeah. Pretty big keyboard. Or footboard. <laughs> Like a little girl section or something. Make makeup products. As we climb to the top of the rock in New York City. And it's kind of cold out here. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Top of the rock. New York City. I have no idea what that building is. Maybe a casino. That is gonna be the uh, city park building. It's gonna be like the tallest building in America. They just keep building, building and building. And if I can catch up with my daughter, she's not really a fan of heights, so don't expect her to be on camera very much. And it's crazy. I was in Paris, top of the Eiffel Tower. Now I'm in New York, top of the rock. I don't know, man. 
it's fortunate to do a lot of things that most of my peers can't. But, you know, like I say, this is a trip for my daughter. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here. I'm not a fan of all this traveling. But it is a nice scene, man. You know, you don't get to do stuff like this very often. So, and I think we can go even higher. Let me see if I can go up even higher. Getting my chaperone in duty zone. This is my little group right here. We just waiting for everybody to come down from the top of the building. And uh, yeah, it's a lot of people. So probably gonna be waiting for a little while. Back on the bus, headed to the hotel room. My back is killing me. Man, it just get harder and harder to walk upstairs the older and older I get. Tiasha is in her typical Tiasha mood, so. Hopefully they got some snacks and stuff in this hotel room. Oh, man. Power nap. The breakfast of champions. Right there. Watch my shoes. What are we watching? Nothing. A blank screen. Awesome. I think there's our ride. <laughs> Call it a water taxi. Seeing as how that boat is yellow and black, I'm gonna assume that's that's the water taxi. This is gonna be Tiasha's first time on a boat. And this boat does a lot of rocking. And people get nauseous when they ride in boats. But I think she'll be okay. I've been on boats for 11 years, didn't bother me, but my kids are built just a little differently, so. She should enjoy it though. She's not really looking like a fan of this. <laughs> the boat is Brooklyn, and you guys probably yeah. figured out the name of this bridge right in front of us. It's the Brooklyn Bridge. You know, kind of intuitively, if you look at the other bridges, you might think this is the Brooklyn Bridge. It's the oldest. It's 80% stone, 20% steel. They hadn't perfected steel yet but they did figure out steel was a big part of the success of this bridge. Connects two very well-known neighborhoods in New York. On the Manhattan side is Chinatown. The Manhattan Bridge goes right into Canal Street. That's the main street in Chinatown. New York's Chinatown has one of the largest populations of Chinese outside of mainland China in the world. Mandarin is New York's third most spoken language behind Spanish and English. That'll be New Jersey on the left and New York on the right. Jersey, New York. Manhattan, actually. Tiasha, Statue of Liberty. Tiasha. Statue of Liberty. Uh, <laughs> Tiasha's just looking at the other boat. Oh, it's over there. Yeah, they taking pictures too. <laughs> we didn't bring a selfie stick, but attempting to kick me. Tiasha in New York. They always building something here. Buildings everywhere. What's in that bag? You don't know what's in your bag? Headphones? Oh, the iPad thing. The bus about to come get us and we're gonna be driving down Broadway Street. That's the street where they do a lot of the Broadway plays and performances and it's real superstitious. Apparently the performances on the east side are bad luck and the performances on the west side are good luck. So I don't know. I don't do performances, but 
We're gonna be riding up and down that street. Where's my daughter going? She kind of all over the place. She just walks in circles. I don't know. Right now we at the uh, World Trade Center Memorial, where all those people died from the the plane attack, and uh, they left two holes where the buildings were and put waterfalls in them, and they got the names of the people all around the buildings. So I think it's pretty cool. Maybe we can actually get closer so I can actually touch it, but here's a picture of it. Building one, building two, that's where they were actually standing before they fell. And now they have a one world tower. It's the tallest building in America right there. One world tower. And those are the spots where the memorials are. They had 5,000 designs for what they was gonna do with those spots. And they came up with one by this Israeli dude. They decided, they decided to use his design, so. Hopefully I can get it, go down there and touch it. Cause that's like, you know, I think that's an important part of uh, American history. It was a very sad day. Lost a lot of lives. And this is the memorial for the 9-11 people. Yeah, yeah, and they said that there's a flower or a flag next to anybody whose birthday it is. All of the 9-11 people. It's crazy cause Tiasha, my daughter, who's actually here with me, wasn't even born when this happened. I was in school in the military when it happened, but my daughter wasn't even born when it happened. So it's, you know, it still kind of gives you a funny feeling, you know, to see, to actually be at the spot where the Twin Towers were attacked and, you know, all these people lost their lives. And I'm pretty sure that there's family members, relatives, loved ones that come here pretty often, you know, to pay their respects. So we could be walking amongst people who lost someone here. And I wouldn't dare do anything to disrespect them because, you know, I wouldn't, I couldn't imagine how I would feel to have lost someone in, in this tragedy. So you know, I'm gonna be as respectful as possible. And, you know, my daughter, she's pretty quiet. So, but yeah, I actually got to, I to touch it. All right, we got a little bit of time. This is our little lunch break, so we're going to try to find some kind of electronic store to get Tiasha some toys, goodies, and we got to find something to eat. But I'm not really seeing no toys, electronics, or nothing to eat, so we'll just keep walking around until we find some. So now we are finna get our eat on, and it's this really extravagant restaurant all this extra stuff and all they serve is pizza and pasta. I don't know, man. I think sometimes uh, New York City might be doing too much. Do y'all want to see what $20 gets you at this fancy Italian restaurant? That is what $20 gets you. I could have made that in myself with two cans of ravioli for like $4. I guess I had to pay that much because of the plate. The plate is designer, so that's probably what made it cost so much. And that's what you get for $26. A nice pepperoni pizza. So now we at the Blue Man Group performance. We gotta wear these uh, yellow band things around our head. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure she's gonna go to sleep, but everybody got their headband on, so. <laughs> Just left the uh, Blue Man group concert thing, and it was a lot better than I expected. Tiasha was all animated when they started flashing the lights. I kind of. Almost got a little bit epileptic. No, not really. But it was fun, though. Um, yeah. We still got our little things on, these little hood things or whatever. But yeah, he, he had no idea what was going on with her eyes. She rolled them in the back of her head, but I still got the picture, so 
I think now we are uh, going to the wax wax museum or something like that. I don't know. We going somewhere, y'all. <laughs> That's that dude with the big old forehead. Feels real, Tiasha. <laughs> hey, dude. I'm gonna need you to keep your hands off my daughter. Keep your hands off my daughter. With your big old forehead. God, look at that head. Jesus Christ, y'all see that? That's a big old forehead right there. Hi, right, Bush. Everybody wants to know. Who caused the bomb this Bush? You need to know. And you're not really this tall. You're not taller than me in real life, Bush. Are you gonna run for president again? No. I think the only thing they got right about Bush is them big old ears. Look at these ears. Hi, right, Pope. Keep it real with me. What y'all gonna do about them uh them priests in the church mess with them little dudes? Y'all gotta do something about that, Pope. You can't just be out here waving at these people if you ain't gonna be solving problems in the church. Because I know it's problems. Matter of fact, I got some sins to confess. Alright, I told you you can't tell nobody. It's between me and you. Alright? Gandhi, why you stopped eating? You could have kept eating, Gandhi. You could have promoted peace other ways. You didn't have to stop eating. Look at you. You look so frail. I support your cause, I understand. But you could have ate, buddy. Should have ate some more. All right, bro. You got some explaining to do. I'm gonna need you to explain to me why you got a hoodie on with a dress. Church shoes. I'm gonna need you to explain that to me. Because I don't understand the fashion of that. Hoodie, dress, church shoes. New generation. If Destiny was in here, she'd be in heaven right now. Look at all this candy. She would be in heaven with all this candy. So Destiny. If you watch this video, I'm sorry you couldn't be here to relish in all of this candy. Day three of this trip, the last day, they uh, have their performance this afternoon. The forecast before we got here was showing much better weather than the forecast that is showing that we hear. It's cold and windy, so I hope they ain't got to do their performance outside. They practiced last night. It sounded pretty good, man. I was I was actually impressed, man. It's it's crazy how how much talent these young kids have and. You can't really see it just by looking at them, but these are some really talented young kids, you know, playing the violins and the strings, you know, making sounds like that. I think that's pretty, pretty incredible, man. But um, we about to get on this road, and I don't know what we're going. I ain't even look at the itinerary. I know we're gonna do some shopping in Chinatown, and they probably gonna haggle us to get gifts and stuff. But we'll see what happens. Breakfast of champions. Chasha, would you like to tell everybody why you was up at 5 o'clock in the morning? No. That's fine. That's how much that's how early I wake up. 5 o'clock every morning. Actually, it's usually earlier than that. Even on the weekends? She ain't even listening. Nintendo. They actually got an upstairs. It's kind of new Super Mario Brothers. So this is what she's going with. See, they love hoodies. 
and she wanted Mario on a hoodie, so this is how we gonna roll. We are in Chinatown, and to no surprise, it's a lot of people here too. A lot of people in Chinatown. A lot of knockoff stuff too. We're gonna kind of just walk around and see stuff, see if they got some good uh, souvenirs. But mainly we're looking for electronics, so. The hardest thing about souvenir shopping is that they never have the right sizes. They either got one size too big, one size too small, but they never had a size I need. So I'm gonna go home, all my kids gonna put on their souvenir clothes, and none of them gonna fit, and I'm gonna get yelled at. But that's been my life for the last, I don't know, 15 years. 20 years? 20 years, Tiash, I just been getting yelled at for doing stuff wrong, so. All I can do is try. So, we got names of streets with people's uh, name in front of it, right? And Tiasha said, oh look, Dad, there's a Destiny Doctor. I said, Destiny Doctor? I said, yeah, look, Destiny Doctor. I said, no, Tiasha, that's Destiny Drive. <laughs> Bless her heart. Nope, nope, nope. Yeah, this one's about right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Lunchtime in Chinatown. Tiasha is on the food board, ordering her food, just like her siblings did when we were in New Mexico. <laughs> All these exotic restaurants, and my daughter wants McDonald's. I can't trip though, because that's what I'm eating. I don't trust these exotic restaurants. We tried one exotic restaurant yesterday, and it was an epic fail. So we're going to stick to what we know and just get McDonald's. New York has almost come to an end. We've just completed our uh, souvenir shopping. There's so many people in New York City, so many people in Chinatown. So many. Can't walk five feet without someone trying to get you to buy something. Yeah, they wanted to get us a whole bunch of knockoff purses and perfume. What's that, you want more Prada? Prada huh? handbag? Prada? Yeah. No Prada handbag. What else you got? Oh, they put another lady for, for a bag for you. For, for who? Another lady. Skinny lady. Oh, she may be down there. Maybe down there. You for another, you wait for another lady? Oh no, I'm not, this is the only lady I'm with right here. Oh. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's, it's non-stop. I guess I'm supposed to buy a Prada bag, but uh, not this guy. That's muscles right there. The orchestra was nice. Um, I'm gonna post that in another video because I don't want to put that in with this vlog. So I'll post the whole orchestra in another video. Um, it was good, man. Outside of, uh, a couple of things, the kids were a little noisy, the girl behind me not only spoiled Avengers Endgame for pretty much everybody on the bus, but she also said a very inappropriate comment, it was a very, uh, very inappropriate joke, and I'm not sure, you know, where some of these children uh, get this stuff from, but, you know, Racism isn't something that's, that's uh, people are born with. They're definitely taught it, so I'll just leave it at that. Um, but yeah, it was, it was a good trip, you know. Definitely not looking forward to doing this again no time soon. Too much walking for me. Uh, New York is a nice place, but it's just too much going on. Too many people, too much traffic, too much noise, and you know, I'm just not about that life. You know, touring and everything, that's, that's not really my cup of tea, but you know, I did it for my daughter, and you know, I, I would have wanted all the parents to go with their kids to see them perform, but you know, unfortunately, that's not always the case. So, but I, you know, the kids enjoyed themselves. You know, we got to see a lot of places, a lot of things, and overall, it was a good trip, man. But I am ready to go home, back to flatland, boring Artesia, and get in my bed and just look at the ceiling. <laughs> but 
thank y'all for watching, man. Thank y'all for supporting. Uh, y'all know about the albums. I ain't gonna keep beating that over y'all head. I will be bringing my Instagram channel back pretty soon. Probably before this video even posts. But uh, till the next one, man, y'all be easy. Slow it down, speed it up. When I get a beat, I beat it up. Living on the edge, you can run into a lot, but I never had a problem keeping up. Keeping up. Slow down, speed up. Slow it down, speed it up. When I get a beat, I beat it up. Living on the edge, you can run into a lot, but I never had a problem keeping up. Keeping up. Slow down, speed up. They still think that I can't. I don't have no on off. I can switch. consider myself a visionary. My skills can vary. No more words than in a dictionary. I never ask for help because I can do bad by myself. No Tyler Perry. When I ever fell down, I shake it off. Every choice has a consequence. If it get too hot, I just take it off. Not many people have common sense. I always keep my head in books. Do not drink or smoke no kush. But they call me an a ho because I never beat around the bush. Try to set a good example to do better than I did. Sometimes they look up to me. And yes, I really love the kids. Maybe I should change a little. Maybe I should start to care. Maybe I should go to church. Maybe I should cut my hair. Maybe all those maybes made me crazy. I'm beyond repair. And I got way too many sides for somebody to call me square. Slow it down, speed it up. When I get a beat, I beat it up. Living on the edge, you can run into a lot, but I never had a problem. I have officially turned duty, daughter duties over to my daughter's mother. Stop it. Yeah, you're going to be on YouTube. No, you got you got the Tiasha duties. Zylan back there with the Frojo. Frojo. Zeke sleep. But long trip, man. I'm about to get on the road. Gas up. Check my suspension. Check the whole car. Gas up and uh, get on the road, man. So I can head back home. Might want to vacuum it. It's a lot of fruity. Say that. <laughs> fruities don't keep you woke. You could have drunk some coffee. We all get fruities keep you. We got that way when we was.